recording. Cool. All right, so um, I'm recording now. What matters for any level, be it my blue lines or your own levels, is um, what what are the candles doing? What is the price action doing when you get to that level? Okay. So right now, if we look at SPY, right, the market's open. This is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put this. This is called a horizontal ray. And if you click Command H or uh, is it Alt H or something? I forget what it is on a PC, but Command H, it'll do it for you like the shortcut. Um, let's go to yesterday. So it's a, it's a horizontal array. It's a, it's a brown line. I have a rust colored line right now. If price hits that day after day, I will make it a blue line for a few reasons. Number one, it's important. Number two, I have a lot of space between blue lines. So I feel like I need a level there. Now, if I'm going to cheat and get a level, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my fib tool. Well, first of all, I can do this. What's about halfway from seven two and six nine? It's a probably about right there. All right, so I just made a blue line. Do I do that? Almost never. I almost never do that because I don't feel like I need more lines. Okay. Now, if I really want to see the exact halfway point, I can go like this. So I was off by about nine cents. So this is the actual halfway point. All right. Now, I would not make that a blue line right away. You can, and its price will probably react there because um, it's a fib between my levels. It's the halfway point between the blue lines. It's the exact same thing as, you know, all, what do we have, like 17 people, 18 right now. And I say, okay, go on this side of the room if you want pepperoni on your pizza. Go on this side if you want all veggies. Well, you know, meat pizza or veggie pizza. We're going to have each half of the room split. It's the same with price. You want to see the halfway point because the trend is usually down the middle. Like, what's the halfway point? Okay. If you guys see me too, I will put, um, I will put, this is the line in the sand for the day. This is the, like for SPY, you're looking at this 470 spot, okay? Um, let me move this down a little bit. Look it. Okay, now I'm moving it down because the candle bodies, okay? I don't, the wicks, they are important, but they're not the most important. They're important to demonstrate where the candle body is. And wicks do create range. Um, you know, a pizza crust is important, but it's not as important as the rest of the pizza. So you want those candle bodies right there. That candle body ended right there. And if you want to, you know, get into this a little more, let's go to the 15 minute. You can go to the 30. See, you could go like this. Boom. Let's go to the 30. And you could have a layer, right? You could save a layer here, save layout make a new layout, that's a 30 minute chart. Um, and you can go like this. Have multiple, it's called multiple time frame analysis, M-T-F-A, multiple time frame analysis. So I have an unnamed here, this is just another layer. I usually don't, I'm just trying to kind of show you guys any other option. It's very important to, to have multiple time frames. Um, as you're looking at this. So you can be like, I have a 30 minute line right there, 473.5. Now we go back to the five minute chart and it's going to be a little bit more accurate than remember I first, first I placed it on the wick. Then I placed it on this candle body. But if we go to the 30 minute, it's actually a little more accurate there. Now, if we bump this all day, I might say, hey, that's a blue line. We never got above this. We touched it five times today, um, you know, or we do this, even if we get above it. If we do this, okay? Now, 
if we retest here and the wicks turn out to be way more important, then the blue line is actually going to be where the wicks are. We're trying to predict the future, which is very difficult to do. It's very humbling. And um, because, you know, it's very, I'm trying to get uh, electric up here. Did it work? Or maybe he has a question. I don't know. Oh, it's Alt-H on a computer? Yeah, there we go. Alt-H. Okay, I'll leave those questions up there. Okay, I clicked Invite to Speak. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with this. Leave and come back? Okay. Um, okay. So, that is how I will have a blue line in, in real time that I'm possibly going to create. But the market isn't really moving right now. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get an edge on a market that is flat. So when, when a trade isn't obvious to me, and look at this, this should jump out at you as a head and shoulders. Here's the head. And then the shoulders on the right side. Um, and then bear flagging. But anyway, so... So yeah, you have your blue line here and then, or, or this uh, horizontal line rather. And then I have it on the five minute. I'm looking at two charts. I'm looking at macro, micro, zoomed in, okay? Um, try to have spy up on your screen in multiple time frames. Be it the daily, be it the hourly. Um, yeah, this should be good. Anyone with the link? Anyway, um, and then it says viewer. Yeah, I want you to be able to type in here, um, e-love. Okay, so what happened this morning, my buddy was texting me. With, this was started making a bear flag. We did wick down, all right? If you're going to look at the one minute, we get under the blue, okay? But what you want to see is candle bodies have follow through above and below any level, just like I said here. Now we got above this level here um, that I just marked. We never got above this pre-market level, but even if we did for one candle and it's a wick, it doesn't matter. That does not matter. What only matters is having additional candles below and above the line. Like if a candle body starts below the line and ends, now we have a full candle that closes. Uh, my friend calls confirmation a four hour close. He doesn't call it reclaiming the level unless it's a four hour close. So if it closes above or below, like, you know, 475, he would be like, we have confirmation that spy closed above, um, 475. He, that's his confirmation is the four hour. So, you know, whatever. Now, let, yeah. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm staying on the five. Um, now, if I'm going to analyze my blue lines here, yes, I am staying on the five. Because I know I did the homework on the higher time frame. Okay, so let's do the homework right now. Oops, I, I meant to click the daily. So, so this is me preparing my blue lines to send out to you guys to make sure they're accurate. Okay, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click this uh Oh my gosh. Fit it to screen. We have a million blue lines. Now I have to zoom. All right, so I zoomed in. Let me get rid of these lines that I didn't delete the other day. And so now I'm going to look for red and green candles. All right, so automatically yesterday's high I'm putting actually I'm gonna make this a blue line because there's a lot of room there yesterday's high even though it's a wick I'm gonna make it a blue line now we bottomed yesterday it looks just about a, a at a blue line okay so let me kind of zoom in here 
make sure all I'm doing is making sure my lines line up with candle uh, beginning and close. So look right here. Let's look right here at the, at the 6th of December. What I have here is a blue line that was already established. Um, maybe at this wick here. That's my guess. Just looking here. Could have been beforehand. Um, and then look, we touched here a little bit. It's hard to see with the volume there. Let me take the volume off. Okay, because we're just focusing on price action. All right, so we have two touches here. See that? One, two. If we were to drop here to the 450s, I'm watching this line. If we were to bounce off it one day and play calls or just see price bounce off of that, I will make that a blue line even though it's close because it's like, right, I'm watching it there. Um, look, here we're going from, this is, a, this is a Harami, a bullish Harami. We get this down move and then we get this inside candle here that was just a launch pad um but we don't have any red candles here so to from here to here you have to zoom in on the four hour and look for some more lo levels um okay so right here i have low a day i'm gonna make this a horizontal ray not a blue line yet and then this candle body right there could easily be a blue line, but I'm going to make it that for now. I know it's just minor leaks. I know it's just um, a potential blue line. That's what those are. Even this right here, you know, then I know it's, it's important for some reason. And uh, sometimes I go searching, why is that important? So look, I'm just doing this right here. This is on my main. I don't have a lot of lines, as you guys see. I haven't done this for a while. Okay, so here I'm going to get the candle bo body low. Here's another candle body right here. This could be a blue line because we have this wick and that wick, but it's a very small wick. So I'm going to wait there and see what's up. Another right here. So I'm just marking these candle bodies, even though it's all straight green. So it topped out there. But the most important thing on these lines, I'm going to go right in the middle of these two. See that wick? Here and here. Okay, so um, let's kind of zoom in now to the four hour. And let's see how price reacted there. Of course, it's going to react because I just placed lines there. So like right here, some choppiness. Oh, that's extended hours. Uh, let me go to the five minute, try and catch some. So far, look how sideways spy is today. <laughs> okay. Let me scroll to a day where like it's helpful. Okay, let's let's look at yesterday. We have this double top underneath the blue line. Um, let's pretend that blue line isn't there because it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do now, though, is this. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I just put this blue line for yesterday, right? I'm going to move this down to here, though. Right there. The second time and the most recent price action is the most important. The second time it touches, um, which is here, not here. Sometimes I'll put it right in the middle. And then I'm going to get rid of this line. If I can. Which I just made on my bigger chart. I can't even grab it right now. Well, I'm going to get rid of that when I can. Um, okay. So, yesterday, we are watching this unfold. Okay. Blue line never really had any traction above we got one candle above like i was saying before one candle is like nothing especially when it's a wick like that we did not get um any of this we did not hold that at all okay so you should not be in anything what you need is 
candle bodies closing above. And what happened here is candle bodies closed below. Okay, we got above, we got, look how high that is. If you're even on the five minute chart, this candle is starting above pre-market high. This is a classic bull trap. But we're waiting for that second candle, which never came. Um, if you want, you can click replay on uh, trading view and it'll play it out right here. So this is the opening. Look, it went up, down. It's going to go up right now. It's going to go real high. All right. And you can mess with the settings. Like you could do one minute. You could do slower, faster. Like obviously it was just going fast. Look, Spy looks like a inverted head and shoulders with pre-market. I'll be surprised if we don't take out this at some point today. I think SPY is going to get at least to 470, 80, at least. I think it's going to make a new high a day. Okay, so now I make this line, and what I want to see is this money spot. This is called a money spot. This is when price action is running into a blue line with a trend line. Now, we have an, our second bull trap of the day right here. We have this and then we double top, okay, out of the trend line. Now, two things about any sort of wedge and, pro and price falling action here. Number one, it starts about here, right? The candle bodies. Looks like it's going about here. Actually, it would be here, right? That's when it first kind of popped out. Well, no, no, no. Left to right, it goes here. Went all the way down, okay? So, if if a wedge doesn't pop above number one, the halfway point, it's very weak. It's it's bearish. That's number one. I don't. That is my first target on calls out of a wedge. If I'm like, oh, we're busting out of a wedge here, um, you know, because they roll over, as what happened here. My second target is the top of the wedge. And as you can see here, we double topped right at the top of the wedge. So any bulls that try to hold this wedge pop, which eventually went to here, you know, because you're moving this line. This line goes here. We pop above. Now I'm here. We have more of a channel, you know. I'm moving this line all day. I'm like, this is where we're at. Oh, we popped above. Now we're here. Okay, we're popping above here. We came here. We retested on this little wick. Then we three barred above this area. This area right here is a little three bar. Okay. Um, so it beat this double top. See how it double topped right here at 7.30 a.m. and then 7.55? And then at 9 a.m., an hour later exactly, it, instead of double topping back down or triple topping at that point, it busted above. It went to the top of the wedge, this blue line, which I don't know if the blue line was there. I think I just added it right a moment ago, right? Yeah. So uh, if you get a double top on a daily, that's a blue line. Double top, double bottom, that's a new blue line, period. You know, because we'll use that in the future. Down the road, price will come here, we'll play puts, we'll play calls, and we'll make money because we place that. You're doing your homework for for future, you know, future plays. Um, I got into puts right about, I think it was here. And they went a thousand percent. It was insane. Um, my first take profit was here, but price just sliced through, you know. Um, these lines are respected as it was here at the end of day. But when you get a rug pull or news or something crazy, Price will slice through. It doesn't mean delete the line. As you can see here, it was still respected, which is cool. I was like, all right, I guess delete the line. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Now, we flush down here under this wedge. The last time we caught support is right here. This caught support, right? Um, so that is your first target for any downside because we just launched from that area. Um, and it sliced through faster than you can even take profits, as we can see here. 
And then it's like, all right, this is the last time. Does this support become resistance? And then you're looking for this. That support become resistance, all right? Um, which it did. And then we, you know, sliced down. This is a crazy move. We never got to this blue line here. So if you're looking at this spot and you're chasing, you're thinking, is this blue line going to hold? Now, we have a big wick right here, which is bullish. And then you're like, what's going to happen? Because we had, we had some wicks here, but we flushed down. We had some wicks on top. Uh, you're always thinking fibs in terms of the halfway point. You're always thinking halfway point. Someone just sent me a message. Okay. Electric, is he back? Invite to speak. I just clicked invite to speak right now. There he is, baby. What's up? Sorry, it's hard. Hey, man. Sorry, hard to pay attention to, to like two screens and see your request, but um yeah please stop me e love because i'll just like keep going and you're if you're thinking this isn't helpful pause please just stop me um okay so i'm not holding to this blue line here yesterday you know i'm not holding to this blue line i'm like i got out as soon as i saw a wick because look we don't have any wicks here boom it's flush yes this green and this green was kind of hard to hold i was like 200 ema man if, if I see any curling motion, if I see what happened right here, see what happened right here, we flush down and it turns into a micro flag, okay? So these bear flags either flush or micro flag up, all right? So it is totally appropriate to get your first buy of puts here, and if it rejects, you're in a lotto put. And if it doesn't reject, you're in more of a confirmation play. Before the blue line is unconfirmed, after the blue line is confirmed. But as we see here, we had a wick up and down, which is volatile. Yeah, uh-huh. What's up? What, what had me get in to these puts here was we flushed under this line. Oh, sorry. We went under this area here that we double topped. We broke this for like calls, right? Um, and then we lost this spot. So this is the fourth touch, the fourth touch. We have one. Actually, it's a fifth. Look, look at the beginning right here. So we, we popped above it. This is a very important line for the day. This is like the line in the sand kind of popped above it. That's one. We flushed on it. So this doesn't really count because we flushed. So one, two, three, that's three touches, four touches. So this red candle right here was huge because this is a spinning top. It's like a doji, but it's a fatter uh, body. Then we flagged up. See how we flagged up, flagged up. So now I'm watching this spot. I thought we would do this. I did not want puts here. I see people chase this. Oh my God. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm a genius, guys. I got into calls right here all the time. And what, what usually happens is this. It'll go, everyone's like, oh, calls. I'm like, that's VWAP, dude. Are you kidding me? Now I'm in. Now I'm in heavy on a double bottom. Because look, look at this big wake right here that it flushed under. Right there, 7.55 a.m., if you got into puts right there, which we played puts from here, though, um, you're down past the blue line. You're maybe trimming or whatever, but then we flushed under, you know? So then this happened here. I'm like, are we really going to cross VWAP? This candle was crazy volatile. Like, you didn't have time to wait for a double bottom or whatever. Um, so you either have small candles confirmed because of the price action in wicks or large engulfing candles confirmed. Like, if you're like, oh, I'm going to wait for a, a double bottom here um, to get in, you're going to miss the move. And that's just part of options. Okay. And what I mean is this. If you're like, we flushed under, okay, I have that level mark. So I'm getting in here, guys. I have all the time. This is a possible pathway. 
I put that all the time. And sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. And I'm like, we didn't even retest. So you're in at an unconfirmed entry banking. That's just what happens. Sometimes you shoot a three and it banks in and you're like, that went in or whatever, right? Bad shots go in sometimes. So you didn't get the confirmation here. The the buying came in or the selling came in so heavily, okay, with this volume. Look at this volume here. Volume's flat. And then we have volume rising, rising, rising. I mean, you're not even really looking at volume there because the candles are so dramatic that it's like, I'm in. I grabbed 10 contracts like that. There was no scaling in. There was no wait for the retest or none of that. Um, and that's just a part of it, you know, that's just a part of options trading. So, um, you know, you tell your player like, Hey, when you see that back door, you cut and if they hesitate and the back door is gone, cause the defender recovers, you're like, you can't fake a back door. I mean, you can fake a back door, but yeah, you really have to have that feel for the backdoor cut in basketball. So yeah, it is tough. It's like. You're chasing here. I, and I'll say, I'm chasing, you know? So here's the thing here. You have this right here. I'm, I'm drawing trend lines all day. First, I go like this, and I'm looking for that money spot. A trend line hitting a blue line. What's going to happen? That's an explosive moment. That's a, that's a pinch, all right? We've all, you know, seen a ketchup packet that gets squished, okay? Which way is it going to go? Up or down? This could have launched. I don't. I don't know why it went down. I have no clue. Um, so now I get this green candle that kind of went down up right here. Look at this engulfing candle. It's so weird. This I thought we were gonna drop because we have this gravestone doji looking thing right here, and then we vaulted up. I was like, I was about to grab puts right here. Anyway, so we get this, and then and then I'm looking at the money spot with my trend line right here. I'm constantly doing this. Oh, I guess it's a red candle. I guess it's a green candle. And then I'm just moving this over. This might happen. You know, what I what did I say earlier? I had this line here. I'm like, oh, look at this wedge. Okay, well, I guess we're doing this. And then it's like, oh, this isn't a helpful line at all. You just kind of disregard it. Now, uh, I think people did get calls from here. It's like, I'm in calls if this wedge goes above the blue line. Okay, we never got a retest there either. You know, maybe you're in lighter here, lighter here. You know, you're in two calls or four instead of eight or ten. That's that happens. Um, this is still range trading. This is within what a dollar fifty, two dollars fifty cents. Trying four seventy one eight. So four seventy two, four seventy. This is like a dollar thirty. You know, this is still like aggressive day trading. So I'm. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. So, the reason for that is simply this. Simply this. If you have volatile movement to a level it's going to bounce violently. That's it. Um, it's very rare. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Price of blue blue light. So candle behavior. Uh, let me see. Candle behavior. I'm going to say. Um, strength of candles into blue line and then what you want to see is 80 percent of the way there 80 percent of the way there what is price action doing and what i mean by it, is it wicking is it engulfing um it could be wedging you know are we getting dojis here okay cool dojis are maro bozus maro bozus a marabozu is a candle without wicks. Doji marabozu. So the risk reward for me was there for calls because at 
uh, 469.50, right? I said, I'm up a thousand percent. I'm cutting. I'm going to get calls. I think I did five contracts instead of 10. I don't remember, but I was like, I'm in calls, right? And if we hit the blue line, you're out of calls. So I just said 80% of the way there, I'm looking to take action, right? Now, if I took calls and and we hit another leg down because of God knows why, my lose my my loss here is 469.54. Let's give it some room. 469.70 to 469.11. And really, I would be out low a day where price started to curl up. Why would I hold beyond there? We're getting down. Can it wick down and up? Yes, absolutely. But I'm in like four contracts here or five. I'm not in heavy. Clearly, this is some volatile price action. I want to see what's going to happen by the blue line. Um, if I throw a ball at a ceiling or at a floor, we're going to have, you know, some bouncing. Now, as we see here, do we Kool-Aid man through blue line sometimes? Absolutely. We do. Um, but we have a giant flush here that went through, a, it, it rejected a blue line. It went sliced through a blue line and now we have a slice through the 200 EMA. So to me, it's like there's a, we're getting some big downside and then we get, the biggest single candle of the day flushing and I'm not waiting for the blue line. 80% of the way there, I'm out really like 65 to 75% of the way there. If I get 80, I'm knocking on wood. Like I can't believe that worked. And sometimes we get all the way to the blue line. But if those calls didn't work, I'm out right away. We're getting above the halfway point of the engulfing candle, right? Of the red candle. We get a bullish engulfing up and you, you can just move up your stop. You're like, okay, I, you know, do we get an engulfing here? And the very next candle is green. And it's like, if the next candle's green, I'm staying in. If it's red, I'm out because we could bear flag down. But if you get equal size candles, like this would be a piercing line candle, the downside's called a dark cloud cover. That is when a red candle is going down into the 50% mark of a green candle. It's called a dark cloud cover. A green candle getting the 50% mark of a red candle is called a piercing line. So this is a, it became a piercing line candle here. Okay. And now your money making trades are not going to be this kind of price action, period. This is like, we're in the chat. The chat is flying. I'm considering putting it on slow mode, right? So making people only type every, I think it's like three seconds, but we're flooding the chat and it could be very overwhelming for people. This is not price action that 99% of people trade. Most people are like, I'm going to see where this settles because I'm watching Nike. I'm watching, you know, I did Macy's the other day, Roku. Okay. When all this was happening, Roku was flat. And you're like, spy is pretty crazy as we saw here. So if you're trying to scalp and get these intraday moves, that's different. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. I would have your own levels on the chart. Yeah. 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 So E love, if your player comes down and makes a corner three, what does that player do? The younger levels, the very next play, they run to the corner and try to shoot it. They try to do it again. And the defense is like, I'm not going to get got again. I'm not letting him have the corner three or whatever. Right. Price actions the same way. I'm setting these levels based on the past and people let it go to 469.11 
And yesterday, they were like, I'm not letting it go to 469.11. That's such a strong level. I'm getting in sooner. And that's why we bounced before 469.11. All right. I love you. Bye. <laughs> cool. I'll send this out too. Yeah, if you guys if you guys want to put anything in the main chat, yeah, later you love. If you guys type anything in main chat, I'll copy it over to the um, the notes. But let's see what's spy doing. What is spy doing? Uh, electric. Look, spy's just sitting there. Yeah, man, what's up? So I'm looking at today's price action. This is all it is. This is what I have on SPY. First I have this, then I have this, then I have this. So very important level there. What's up, man? Let me do it right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, candle bodies is everything. I mark the wicks, but the wicks are, you know, $5 bills. The bodies are $100 bills. That's just that's just what it is. So let's get the very high. This is now a downtrend. So you draw fibs high to low. And then you're going to go to here. So, yeah, we're sitting on the 25 between 25 and 38. I know we call it the 40 a lot, but and it's not even 25, it's 23, six, but so yeah, you really need over, I said 470, but this is, yeah, so we're in this, this downtrend from yesterday's high to here. And then as when I went to the, uh, was that the 30 minute? Um, we were on a, Inverted head and shoulders, and we're making the right shoulder here. And and we've been chopping away here since 720, 930, an hour and 10 minutes. We've been in this, you know, flag, this cup and handle. So this is OPEX. It's fast moves in the morning, and then it's flat all day. Um, sometimes you'll get some crazy moves at the end of day, like the last 15 minutes, but um, – I would not be trading OPEX. This is a time to reevaluate your swings, you know, um, or, or just be hands off, honestly. Like yesterday, when that stuff is going on, that doesn't mean you have to trade that. That's not where I'm making my money. I'm making my money on a wedge that breaks up. Like that big drop yesterday, I'm, I'm chasing that move. You know, I'm flat out chasing that move. So, but options is all about catching a piece you know i didn't get in at the top if i would have gotten at the top that would have been like two thousand percent but how much money are you losing when you try and get the top all right i'm in puts here because it could double top it could double top um i'm gonna wait for it to double top though you know um it's the same as like shoot one time years ago i bit into my pizza and when the piece broke away, the piece in my mouth broke away from the slice, a piece of cheese flicked up, which is fine. It didn't touch me, but a little clear sauce drop landed on my lip and went, it burned the living hell out of my lip. I was like jumping around. I was like, ah, and I had a red mark on my face for a week. So it's like, are you going to bite into your food or in that case a pizza, the instant it's humanly possible to eat that hot of food or you're just gonna wait you know How, we've all burned our tongue that's the worst you can't taste food for like two three days and you're thinking to yourself i should have just waited another minute it's the same in trading god burning your tongue sucks so bad like before you have like reservations at a nice restaurant you're like i can't taste the food, guys. 
So, um, yeah, you really want to – like this morning with, with the blue lines, we actually went under yesterday's low, and we are not breakout buying. We don't buy the low a day, and we don't buy the high a day. If you do, I hope you made 1200 bucks that day, and you are risking $200, so you still clear $1,000 for the day. Okay, or you made five fifty and you're risking fifty bucks. Because if if you bought the low a day today, right? Oh, under yesterday's low a day, I'm in puts. You had about forty cents to take profits. And it was under it was right at a blue line. So that's two reasons there. Now you're also not if we get a high a day, I'm in calls. No, you're not in calls. You're only if you break the high a day. And retest the high a day. That's a retest. That's different. That's a confirmed entry on a retest. Okay, look at what I was just saw while I'm talking here. Look at the longer I'm staring at this chart, the more I'm seeing stuff. There's no way I'm getting calls above this line. There's no way. And so this is just from me staring at the chart for 30 minutes now. I'm like from yesterday's high a day, even pre-market. Just just uh, respected this line and intraday. That's kind of interesting. So what could happen here is this, that, and then it could just ride under this trend line like this. Who knows? It could go low. It could go under. But for now, it's like I'm watching this. Would I do puts under this line? Yes, I would. I, I would totally do puts under this line because we have multiple touches. And there's a rule of three. You you are not taking action until the third touch. Okay, it's a rule of three. And I'm gonna align this line to the intraday because we whipped over. So we have one, two, three. So now what what we want to happen here for puts, I'm not playing anything, okay? I'm not touching any trade. Is this, and then you're probably gonna get a higher uh higher low. No, lower high. Higher low, higher low, higher low. You're going to bust out, come here, and then go down. That's probably what's going to happen. Um, I'll just leave that up here just in case. But, yeah, and then your target would be, your first target is here. Your first target is where we touched one, two, three times, this 4, 6, and 9, 80, which I wouldn't even go. It's about to be at it right now. 4, 6, and 9, 85. Now, I would not get into this unless we retested and came down. Um, still just said Tesla is on this blue line. Market Bishop is looking at it. Let's look at Tesla, see what he's looking at. Look at another ticker besides SPY. Are you on trading view? So look, Tesla is right on this blue line. This is what Sills talking about right now. Um, and once again, I would need to do this. There's yesterday's high pre-market high. It's gonna reject off one of them, and I need this. That's the only way I would get into calls for Tesla. So. And I wouldn't do it on OPEX day at all anyway. I just wouldn't. Okay, so let me go back to SPY. My low a day is this 469.27 uh, area. And then the candle body is 469.59. And let me move that up to right there. I don't know why I put this line. On on Weeble or put a put a screenshot in the chat. Um any other questions about this before I end it? It's been I don't know if it tells me a time. 45 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll just consider this kind of part one. And if we need to continue, we will. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys being here.